Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at semicircles and quarter circles. We're gonna answer the question, how do I find the area of semicircles and quarter circles? So if you have forgotten, the area of a circle is pi r squared, and a semicircle looks like this. It is half of a circle. So to find the area of a semicircle, we will substitute the radius into pi r squared, and then we will divide that by two. A quarter circle looks like this. It is one fourth of a circle. So to find the area of the quarter circle, we will substitute the radius in to the area of a circle formula, pi r squared, and then we will divide by four. So basically it is just like finding the area of a normal circle. You just have an extra step at the end of dividing by two for a semicircle and dividing by four for a quarter circle. So let's look at number one. It says find the area of a semicircle that has a radius of seven meters. So the area... <laughs> All right, let's look at number one. It says find the area of a semicircle that has a radius of seven centimeters. So a semicircle is half of the circle, so I'm gonna take the area and divide it by two. So let's find the area first. The area of the circle can be found by doing pi r squared, and they told me that the radius is seven. So to find the area, I will do 3.14 times seven times seven. 7 times 7 is 49, so to find the area, I will do 3.14 times 49. So the area of the circle would be 153 point 86. So now I need to find the area of the semicircle. So I'm going to take 153.86, my area, and divide it by 2. So the area of the semicircle would be 76.93 meters squared. Okay, let's look at number two. I want to find the area of a quarter circle that has a radius of eight centimeters. So I will take my area of the circle and divide it by four. So to find the area of the circle, I'll do pi r squared. And they gave me the radius, it is eight. So to find the area of this circle, I will do pi times eight. Sorry, I'll do 3.14 times eight times eight, and eight times eight is 64. So to find the area of the circle, I need to do 3.14 times 64. So the area of this circle would be 200.96 centimeters squared. And to find the area of a quarter circle with that radius, I will do 296, 200.96 divided by four. So the area of the quarter circle would be 50.24 centimeters squared. Okay, let's look at number three. It says find the area of the shape. So this is a semicircle. So I will take my area of the circle and divide it by two, but I need to find the area of this circle first. It has a diameter of 12, which means my radius is half of that, so my radius is six, and the area of the circle can be found by doing pi r squared. So I will do 3.14 times six times six, or 3.14, times 36.
the area of the circle is 113.04. And now I need to divide that by two to find the area of this semicircle. area of this semicircle with a diameter of 12 meters would be 56.52 meters squared. All right, let's look at number four. I want to find the area of this shape, which is a quarter circle. So I'm going to find the area of the circle and divide it by four. So to find the area of the circle with a radius of five, since this radius is five, I'll do pi r squared radius is 5. So to find the area, I'll do 3.14 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. So to find the area, I'll need to do 3.14 times 25. So the area of the circle with a radius of five is 78.5. And to find the area of the quarter circle, I will need to do 78.5 divided by four. So the area of the quarter circle would be 19.625 centimeters squared. Okay, let's look at number five. I need to find the area of this quarter circle. So I'll find the area of the circle and then divide by four. So to find the area of the full circle with a radius of 13, I will do area equals pi r squared. So the area will be 3.14 times 13 times 13. 13 times 13 is 169. So to find the area, I'll do 3.14 times 169. So the area of the full circle with a radius of 13 would be 530.66. So now to find the area of the quarter circle, I would do 530.66 divided by 4. The area of this quarter circle would be 132.665 inches squared. Okay, number six, I need to find the area of this shape. It is a semicircle, so I will take the area of the circle and divide it by two. So let's find the area of a full circle first. This circle has a diameter of two, so that means my radius is one. So to find the area, I will do pi r squared with my radius of one. So to find the area, I'll do 3.14 times one times one. One times one is one. So to find the area, I'll do 3.14 times one. So the area of the full circle is 3.14. So now to find the area of the semicircle, I will do 3.14 divided by 2. Area of the semicircle would be 1.57 miles squared. 
Okay, number seven, I am going to find the area of this semicircle and I'm gonna write my answer in terms of pi. So that means I just don't multiply in the 3.14 and I leave the pi symbol. The rest of the process is the same. So I need to find the area of a full circle first that has a diameter of 18. So that means the radius is half of 18, which is nine. So now I'll find the area of the semicircle by doing pi r squared. So it'll be a 3.1, oh no, I'm gonna leave the pi symbol in there because we're doing in terms of pi. So it'll be pi times nine times nine. And nine times nine is 81. So the area of the full circle would be 81 pi. So now to find the area of the semicircle, I divide by two. So I just need to do 81 pi divided by two. And we will just simplify the numbers here and leave the pi symbol. So I need to figure out what 81 divided by two is. I get 40.5. So the area of the semicircle would be 40.5 pi feet squared. And number eight, it says find the area of the shape below. Write your answer in terms of pi. So this is a quarter circle. I will find the area in terms of pi and then divide by four. So the radius is 14. So to find the area, I will do pi r squared with the radius of 14. I'm gonna leave the pi symbol in there since we're doing in terms of pi and the radius is 14. So I'm gonna do 14 times 14 and 14 times 14 is 196. So the area in terms of pi is 196 pi. So now to find the area of the quarter circle, I just need to do 196 pi divided by four, which would be 49 pi millimeters squared. 